what's up guys, this is Kino. Today, we're at Tokyo Auto Salon 2020. Yes. And we're with Makoa, hey, uh, Calvin, and Kelsey. So I heard there's a lot of new Supros uh, lined up, so let's go check it out. Damn, check this out. HKS R32. Hey, uh, and look at the exhaust on the side. Oh shit. Alright, so before we check out the Supras, let's go check out the Drift event. guys what do you guys think here's a new Supra by HKS that's so aggressive and here's another one less aggressive but I think they're the same kit The marble design looks sick and the marble is even on the mirror and on the roof but I think they're wrapped yeah they're wrapped trying to take pictures of the model. And after a while, they start doing the low angles to get the panty shots. Project Mew, the disc and the caliper, uh, the, the color is really similar to my STI. I was thinking either uh, Endless, D2, or Project Mew. I think this will really match the car. Okay, 
so here's the calipers for Cosmic Mew. Uh, the plain paint, it's like really dull, but they do have metallic paint. You just gotta ask for it. And it's not on display, I guess. Yo guys, check this out. So I found this master cylinder cap from Project Mew. And it's originally uh, 35 bucks, but right now it's on discount and 25. So I think I'm gonna get that. That's it. So we're at Varus right now. I think that's a new kit for Supra. Damn, that's so aggressive. Oh, and I think the front fender, so far Varus is my favorite. Carbon fiber too, so that it doesn't absorb heat too much. Man, that's a piece of art right there. <laughs> Oh shit! Brake, brake cylinder, tank is empty. <laughs> Another Supra. This one's stock body though, right? Yeah. Yeah. So pretty much, uh, this one it has Opera Pavic exhaust, KW coils, OZ wheel. And Brembo. That's a Cusco bracing in the back. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, the blue. Nice. Okay, so, this farmer truck I found, it is Mercedes. How crazy is that? This is like old school, huh? Alright, so we're at Up Garage. We found this Z33. Look at this. That is insane. He's got the, uh, the turn signals from Arc 7 FD. I don't know if I like that, but I like the idea of it. Unique. Don't break it when you stand up, Makoa. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Jesus type. Um, yeah, I bet. Yeah. Now that's Japan size. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, so we're at Cusco now. It's mildly modified, I guess. Um, it's got carbon fiber lip. Yeah, look at the brace. Yeah, when it comes to braces and power bars and everything, I think Cusco is the right company. Uh, even even pullovers, I always go with Cusco. Alright guys, so I'm at the Cusco booth, they give out the Daruma. Um, I got one right here, and what Daruma is, is uh, in Japan like people get them at the uh, beginning of the year, on January 1st, and they color the eyes on uh, one side, uh, making a wish. And when you reach that goal, or when that wish comes true, you color the other eye. So, I'm gonna go, let's go, 40k subs. <laughs> this section, they have all the drift cars. They got Kazama Auto Service, Y Square, and 326 Power, Mitsuru Power. There's our favorite car we want to see. Ooh. The spaceship. The spaceship? The oh shit. Let's go check it out. <laughs> the Gundam. Oh man. That is awful. Yeah, it hurts to see. And look at the look at the uh, lug nuts. 
Oh my goodness. There it is. Uh oh. So here's the famous Gundam FRS. So me and Makua were saying how we don't like the uh, the big gap. Man. I never thought I would see this in person, but and the lug nuts. Like, this is so unbalanced. The side skirt's nice. Side skirt? Yeah, I like the I like the side skirt. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the kit needs to have stance wheels, just the way that the curvature is shaped on the far outside. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll just look like a box. Um, but yeah, like you were saying, I don't like that gap between yeah. the wheel and the side skirt. But without without this gap, if they if they put a wider wheel, it'll it won't be this stance, right? No, it it's gonna it's gonna yeah, like. You, you can make it. You can make the wheel a lot shallower and then have it uh, more of a flush kind of fit. But just the way, like you see how these angles come down like this. Yeah. And, like they're coming out around and it comes back in without a stancy look to it. It's not gonna look right. Exactly. If you had a flush set on it, it wouldn't look good. Mm. But this kit also just like the V Lane kit needs to have. Low, like has to be super low to the ground, otherwise it just looks really weird. Uh, it'll look like it's floating, the back end will be too high, but that's why they have such uh, crazy ground effects like this rear diffuser. Without it being that low, it's gonna, it would look like the car is kind of like floating. Yeah, definitely. But that's just insane. So crazy. <laughs> I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying. I am. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know uh, who's gonna be able to pull that off. Yeah. All right, guys, let's go. While you guys take the models, I take you guys. Yeah, let's go. They're good this year. <laughs> Usually, they try to get the panty shot. Well, I guess they're they're not wearing skirts or anything. <laughs> that lady was just looking at them. Looking at the firing squad, it's like, it's really hard. Why is there really taking the <laughs> Clearly, it's your first time. Yeah. Check this out. So, this is the Liberty Walk FRS. Look at the carbon fiber. The weaves on it. It looks like one of the Japanese fans. It's more obvious on the fender. Damn, look at that. That's so JDM. Oh, the whole hood. Yeah. Dang, that's great. And the lip. <coughs> oh, they should have done the roof too. They just painted. Okay, so we have Mark. I think that's Mark Two, huh? Mark Three. Maybe Mark, Mark Two. two. Yeah. Supra, with no Jay Z engine. But it's got the electric motor. That is insane. I'm not a big fan of glitters, but this paint's really clean. Alright guys, so we found an FRS with two J swap. He probably took the engine from that Supra down there, the green one. The piping saw welded, huh? Alright, so this is cool racing. Supra, white body. Damn, that looks so clean. Look at the painting. Like after after looking at so many uh, white body kits, it's starting to look similar. But bro, 
This wing is so aggressive. I actually like this way better than the Baltics. So far, that's like number one on my list. I'm assuming this is cool racing GT wing, uh, Swan Mac. And yes, I'm gonna be pulled over every time I drive this car because uh, the wing is way behind the, uh, the rear bumper, right? I know this is Supra, but uh, even with my uh, GD, it's gonna be way behind. But that looks so nice though. And here is the Gazoo Racing Supra. Oh wow, that is crazy. So the entire fender and the, oh no, actually that's a hood. No, actually, yeah, the fender, everything, the entire kit is carbon fiber. It's just wrapped over it. All right guys, so we got Another model over here. And you know what that means? Yeah, let's go, guys! <laughs> I'm not taking photos, but just for the subscribers. Ooh! Nice suit. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and these guys. Filming them from the side. Look at that. Alright guys, so this is the GTR released for 2020 by Liberty Law. Nice. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Alright, so he took some photos and videos of all the photographers going crazy to the model, so like, I'll show you right now. Good job! <laughs> Guys, I thought I saw all the crazy photographers. Look at these guys on the north side. Damn! They're like roaches. So these guys, they don't even care about the cars. A lot of times they damage the cars at the shows because they want to get good good angle of the uh, models. Taz started having YouTubers on stage uh, maybe one day. Hey Kelvin, yeah. why'd you leave your tire here? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a war now. Yeah. Alright guys, so I am here at Toyota Technical College Tokyo booth. <laughs> Every year they create something unique for the booth. I guess that's like Cinderella? Yeah. And here is a Supra. It's not actually welded together, but I don't think that's a wrap either. Looks like it's painted. But yeah. It's a Supra. Oh. I like the fitment though. And we got a Hachi. Sick. Look at that. Oh, nice. It's really nice. 
secret. Damn, look at those. This is a company you go to if you want crazy horsepowers. Say that again? <laughs> that dude's camera lens is zoomed in right into your tits. Damn, they're going crazy. They're like, dang! Oh, God. Welcome to Tokyo. Oh, that, that's like a cosplay um, fetish thing. Damn, you can see her underwear like right through it. <laughs> That is insane. So instead of having a tower bar, they have two bars at the center functioning as a tower bar, right? And they got a brace on the side going to the frame. That way, the coilovers, they function a lot better. Damn. Rolls again. <laughs> what is going on here? Tokyo Girl Salon. Tokyo Girl Salon. <laughs> Be the porn star he was talking about. Hey, what's up? This motherfucker is who you want to talk about, mate. How you doing? Hey. <laughs> hey, Ben. Fucking A. This is, this is real. You, do you know Rio? Rio? Yeah, he does the. Uh, he's. Oh, the they're song. singer. Yeah, Hotaru for um, fucking the beast in it for conflict. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. I'm trying to vlog about all the photographers in Japan going crazy when they take uh, photos of models. Now, uh, I know I look like one of them, but now I'm actually doing work. There you go. I'm attempting to do work. Do you want to do you want to go into the uh, booth and open it? No, no. no. <laughs> this is Mr. T. He's a biker. Yes. And he's almost as cool as Kino. Wait. All right, man. If I can, I'll definitely hit you up. All right. So check him out. Uh, I'll leave his Instagram right here and YouTube down at the description. Go give him a follow. Yeah. Apparently, I'm a professional. Apparently. <laughs> Fucking a. All right, guys. So I've been going around the booths. Check who I found. At Paradiso Racing Team. Hey, how's it? High five! Hahaha, Shashuri desu, Kenki desu! 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 Go check it out, guys! Sick! <laughs> yeah, if you remember Nami, uh, she was the model at Tokyo Motor Collection. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'll leave a link up here, is it? Or up here. Uh, but yeah, um, go click it. it. It was a cool meet. Not, not a meet, but it was a cool show. So, yeah, go check it out. Sailor Moon 2020, they have mustache. What the fuck? Hey, there you go, guys. Kino Kuni. I'm not too familiar with that company, but it's cool to have your name in it. Alright, guys, so this is Gordon. They do motorcycles. They make trikes, I guess. Mm -hmm. Sick. Oh shit. And this one's back too. That is insane. 
I don't know if it's all of them, but uh, this one I see uh, the tank. So that means it's air suspension. And I see the back right there. That is crazy. But yeah, even all the seats, fenders, the painting, they look amazing. Oh, that's sick. They, they even got speakers in the back seat. I really miss riding motorcycles. Man. I'm hooking you up, bro. I'm hooking you up. Damn! <laughs> Alright, so I was talking with Dark and um, I told him I wanted to take a thumbnail in front of Gordon and he's, he's hooking me up real big time. So, one, of the, one, of the, one of the benefits of where I work. <laughs> Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Do you mind sharing your name? My name is Sana. Hey! My name is Tiara, DJ of the Mars. Tiara, she's a DJ. I'm Marina for my account. Give her a follow. And big shout out to Dark. Thanks always, bro. Cheers, brother. <laughs> Fucking it. Alright guys, so we are done with Tokyo Auto Salon. Last year I recorded all the boots and parts and stuff like that. So this year I tried something different. I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the, uh, the guys uh, taking photos, right? Uh, that was crazy. So how did you like your uh, first experience in Tokyo Auto Salon? It was fun. Yeah? A lot of people, too crowded. Too crowded, <laughs> yeah. Tired, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So what, what did you think about the uh, test? Kind of similar to every other year, but with all the Supras out, it was kind of refreshing to see a new car with all these new kits out for True. it and all the new parts. So it was really nice. Uh, yeah. Kind of like how I saw when I first came out with all the FRS BRZs and all the different kits for that. At least there were a couple FRS BRZ kits out this time, new ones. Yeah, new ones. But, uh, you know, you gotta feed the market, right? Yep. How'd you like Tass? It was pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, long day, lots of walking, but it was fun. Did you get anything? I did, I got this city. Yeah, yeah, Red Bull. Yeah. Oh, Kuma. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Nice. You guys been asking for food vlogs. All right, so this is cow tongue with green onion. A lot of people, they'll be like grossed out because it's tongue, but uh, it's really good. This is sasami with uh, plum sauce. And here is bacon with asparagus. And we have uh, oyakodon. Oyakodon! So this is like mixed with egg and uh, Pork chicken. And egg. It's chicken. Oh yeah, chicken. Yeah. And I envy you guys. Asahi. <laughs> so, I'm going to try the tongue. Mm. It just tastes like steak. It's really good. So let's try the tofu. Get some salt in there. Oh, thanks. Oh, perfect. Oh, shit. Sure. Can't get it. How embarrassing. Mmm, <laughs> so good. Oh, man. Food tastes better after you after a convention. Yeah. <laughs> after you're tired. Yeah, after you're tired. Oishi. Oishi. I've never tried a uh, tofu with salt before. It's really good, huh? Yeah. The bacon asparagus. Mm. Chicken skin. Mm. It's so good it gives you chicken skin. <laughs> It's 
shield, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. shield. So it's salt flavor. Mm -hmm. All right, so mm -hmm. this is sasami, and believe it or not, this is medium rare. I don't know if I can do it. This just feels wrong. No, it's that's fine. It's it's not. It's really. Mm. So it's good. good. Right? You know they have chicken sashimi in Japan. They don't even cook it. Mm. Yeah, only in Japan you could get raw chicken. Like, not not at local supermarket, but they actually order from like uh, licensed, uh, what do you call it? Distributor? Yeah. Breeders? Chicken breeders? Yeah. Don't try this at home, but if you go to a decent restaurant, they'll serve you. Whenever I go to Yakitori, this is what I get. Chicken meatball with bell pepper. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh. It's super juicy too. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's fine. That was yakitori. How'd you guys like it? Uh, I loved it. But anyways, yeah, uh, let me close off the vlog. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.